In this tutorial I will show you how to create such legends. These illustrations are normally used in dialogues of reusable objects or reusable components. The special things about these images are the 3D dimensions. As you can see I replaced the dimension values against variables. Now I show you how to get this 3D dimensions with the overwritten values. There are two possibilities to achieve this result. The first solution is to use PMI dimensions. Therefore, we have to do some preparations before we can use the PMI dimensions in this way. In the customer defaults, you have to check if the following option is active. So we look to file, utilities and customer defaults. And then we browse to drafting, workflow, and here in this section, we have the option called Inherited PMI and allow PMI bidirectional edits must be active. So this is the first thing. And the next point is to have the possibility to override the dimensions. Here you have to add the function called edit text. And this function is later on accessible in the drafting environment. That means we have to set an environment variable in this called UGII PMI edit text a command and the value must be one. So that means that the command is visible and accessible. So these are the two things we have to do first and then we can go on. So for my legend of this steel beam, I don't need the whole one, so I only need a piece of it. So therefore I change to PMI and I use the section view. Then I change the plane, the section plane should be in a Y direction. And now I can type in an offset. In my case, it is 300 minus. I don't want to see the um, section curves. I change it to body color and confirm with OK. So this is everything what I need for the legend, this piece of the steel beam. And now I can go on and use the PMI dimensions. So therefore I use the rapid one and I create my dimensions for the width. for the length then I have the height and you see if it is not the right datum plane you can use the alternate plane and then place the dimension then I have the thickness of the flange and the thickness of the bar So this is what we need for our legend. So the next step is we have to create a new drawing. So we go to file new, then to the drawing tab. I use a, a one size, confirm with okay. So before we place the base view, we have to select our section view. This is in the model view to use. In this drop down menu, we can choose the section. You see it in the preview. This is the right one. And before we place, we go to the settings, right mouse button, settings, and look to the PMI tab here because we want to have the PMI dimensions on our drawing and our view. And this is, we have to change this one from none to from model view and confirm with okay. Then we can place the view and we see the result. 
that the PMI dimensions are inside of our view. So now the second step is to override the dimension values. So therefore, at the beginning, we set the environment variable to one. So that means this um, or the function edit text should be available. So therefore, we have to add this function using the customize. And we type in the search field here, edit text. And you see that this one is available. So the function is to be retired. So that means um, be careful to use this function. So then we add this one to our ribbon bar by drag and drop. I place it here, for example, on this side, and I close the customize dialog. So now I can go on and I can um, edit my dimension. I use this function, edit text. Then I select one dimension. And you see now it's possible to overwrite the dimension value. And for this, I use the W. And this is what I do for all the other dimensions. So when you're finished with the renaming, we can modify the size of our dimensions. I select the dimensions, right mouse button, settings, I change to the text, especially to dimension text, and I change it, for example, to 20. And you can use another font, for example, if you would like to do this. But this is the result with the replaced dimension values. So I can um, place the values and this should be the result. So next step is we use the settings for the view right mouse button on the boundary we go to the settings we change the shading style from wireframe to fully shaded that we have our um, body color inside and i don't want to see the border therefore i go to the drafting preferences Take off a display and this should be the result. So now the last step is to export this, um, this view. That means we go to view and export image. So here I choose the input called region. That means I can use a rectangle using drag and drop around this view. I change the format to BMP, I change the location if it is necessary, and then I can confirm with OK. Now I will show you the second solution. Therefore, we use the expand view in the drafting environment. So you see we have the drawing and I placed the section view on the drawing sheet and now I have to activate the expand view. So therefore, I have to select the imported PMI section view with the right mouse button 
and activate the expand. So the secret is the orientation of the work coordinate system. So I use the WCS dynamics. So this is this makes the work coordinate system visible and I see the location. And now I have to adapt this coordinate system to my situation. That means I have to place it on my piece. So first of all, I select the origin and now I have to align the axis. The important thing is the X and Y plane. When we place the dimensions, they are directly placed on this plane. So that means I have to select in this case the set axis and I need the surface normal. So therefore I select the face of the beam. You see what happened. I have a new orientation and the second is the X axis to also a new direction. Therefore I select this face and now I have the X and Y plane on the right alignment. So we exit with the middle mouse button and then I can go on to dimension the width, then the height, the thickness of the flange and the thickness of the bar. So one dimension is missing, it is the length one. So therefore I have to orientate the work coordinate system again. I use dynamics and I select the set axis and a new surface normal. Now it is this face on this side. Now I have the correct um, orientation, exit with middle mouse button and now I can dimension the length. So now I'm finished and I can deactivate the expand view and the next step is to override the dimensions. So for this I select the dimension, right mouse button, I click on settings browse to format and then you can see there is an option called override dimension text. This option must be active and now it is possible to override the dimension value. So and this is what I have to do for all the other dimensions. So now I'm finished and now I can um, change the style of the dimensions. That means I select all the dimensions, right mouse button, settings. And for example, I only change the height of the dimension text with a value of 20. And the last step is to get the body color. Therefore, I select again the imported PMI section view with the right mouse button and settings. And now I can change the shading and rendering style from wireframe to fully shaded. I confirm with OK. And then you see now we are ready to export this image and we can use this image as a legend in our reusable component or in our reusable object.